James 4.10 says to humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. This week we're talking about a go-to must-have virtue for every Jesus follower and that is humility. Uh, humility is to view yourself in the light of what God paid for you. It's to view yourself in light of your sin and what it cost God. It's to just be aware of that fact. And humility is not to think less of yourself, that you're a nobody, that you're no good, but humility is just to think of yourself less than you think of other people. And so this morning I wanna to talk to you a little bit about two things you cannot do without humility. There are two commands, two principles in scripture that you will never be able to follow or obey unless you have virtue, unless you have learned to humble yourself. And the first one is grow. Uh, the book of Romans tells us that we are to grow in the likeness of Christ, that we are to, once we start following Jesus, our life should begin to be different. It should, it should grow. We should grow closer to Jesus. We should be uh, growing closer like him. And in order to grow, there is required a great degree of humility uh, to improve. It requires humility because you must be first able to admit, I need to grow. I'm not there yet. I have not arrived. I don't have life figured out. I don't have Christianity figured out. And there's some things I need to learn. And it's really a lifelong process. You will never have it all figured out. You, you should never stop growing. And so without humility, you won't be able to do that. The, the prideful person thinks he's arrived. The prideful person thinks there's nothing left for him to learn. And so without humility, you will not grow. The second thing you won't be able to do without humility is a really important one. It's a word we don't like to use, but it's submit. Now we are called by scripture to do uh, two things when it comes to submit. First, we are to submit to Jesus as our Lord. We are to surrender our lives to Jesus as our boss, as the number one uh, influencing factor in our life. And if you don't have humility, will never be able to let somebody else be first, especially Jesus. So humility is required in order for you to submit to, to Jesus as your savior. But secondly, the Jesus follower in the book of Ephesians is commanded to submit to one another, specifically uh, in relationships uh, in your home, but as a general rule that we are submitting uh, submitting to each other. And that doesn't mean that we're we're human doormats. It doesn't mean that everybody gets to run over us and have their way with our life. It just means that we view and we value other people in our life more than we value ourselves in life. And to submit to one another cannot happen without humility. Humility is one of those virtues that without Without it, you're going to really, really struggle to follow Christ. You're going to struggle to fit into the body of Christ without humility because probably the most humble person on earth, probably the person who thought more of other people than himself was Jesus. He is our model. He has been called humble um, by many descriptions in the Bible. He is the model of humility, and if we're going to follow him, we have to be like him. So humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up.